Greetings folks, Jay here again. Um, today I'm going to show you how to properly fill your coolant. So first, you obviously want to start out with the obvious. Remove the radiator cap. Now, what I did is I just got the 50-50 already pre-diluted. Um, even though it says on this container that you can mix with any color, I still don't suggest misting, mixing colors. Just a suggestion. But anyways, uh, after removing the radiator cap, start the car. Now, I know a lot of people don't do this, but this is exactly what people do wrong. You start the car to keep air bubbles from getting in the system. Now there's an exhaust leak, so it's going to be pretty loud. Uh, we got to do something about that crappy idle speed. Alright. Now, you should use a funnel, but me, I'm really good at this, so I'm not going to need it. Oh, and I'm missing. Alright, now I'm getting it. So much for being really good at it, huh? Now make sure you fill slowly. That'll also help prevent bubbles from getting in the system. You don't want air to get in there because it can cause a lot of different problems like intermittent heat, intermittent overheating. Now, now that's a better view. Anyway, you can see it bubbling back down. I'm not too worried about a mess. But you can see all those bubbles coming up to the top. That's the system purging itself of air. So as long as you do this with the car running and the cap open, you should be able to prevent air from staying in the system. As you can see, you can see it bubble down and I'm gonna leave it like that for five or so minutes and uh, let the rest of the air seep itself out. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. It actually uh, bubbled up to the point of overflow, which is what you want because it's expanded, it means the car is warmed up, and then you can finally shut your car off. And that's basically it. Just make sure that when you put your radiator cap back on, you put it on tight. Make sure it clicks all the way through. If you don't put it on tight, it's all just going to leak back out. Alright folks, and that's my messy coolant video. Um, I will be cleaning that up. Be eco-friendly, please. Don't kill the animals around your house. The stuff smells very sweet. They'll drink it. So, clean up if you make the same mess I did. Anyways, I sign off with play with shit. Have a good evening. Or day, or morning. Or whatever time you watch this. Don't be a fool.